I'm Steve Dale for the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine. Dr. Al Legendre, an internal medicine specialist at the University of Tennessee College of Veterinary Medicine. You are working on something that I'll tell you many have worked on now for many, many years, feline infectious peritonitis known as FIP in cats. Tough to deal with because it's complicated, but let's do sort of the simple version of it. Tell us what FIP is and why it's mm. so bad. FIP is a viral disease, univor uniformly fatal. It occurs in cats. It's caused by a virus that mutates in the cat from a fairly non-pathogenic form into a lethal form, and it causes a lot of damage to the vessels with fluid accumulation and chest and abdomen and the production of granulomas or inflammatory masses in the abdominal organs, kidney, liver, and as well as the brain, eye lesions. It's both difficult to diagnose and uh, very difficult to effectively treat. It's nasty, and, and I'll tell you, you know, it mostly happens to kittens, correct? It's, it's certainly overrepresented in those, in those kittens under a year or so of age, but so, it does so happen throughout life. So someone has gotten a kitten, oftentimes because their other cat has passed away. And here is a veterinarian who says, I'm gonna diagnose your cat with something called feline infectious peritonitis. And people are like, what? And then, because they've never heard of it. And then the veterinarian has to say, your kitten probably is not gonna live very long at all. That has to be just devastating. I don't know that there's anything worse that you deal with. No, it's a terrible disease. And with some of the ex investigational therapy that we're looking at right now, I get frantic calls and emails from people all over the country, actually all over the world, because we've had communications from Dubai, Australia, hmm. just it, throughout the world. So it is a, a worldwide problem. Yeah, and it's a problem that you've decided to tackle, and now some others are doing too, which is wonderful. Tell me about what something that I can be optimistic about, I hope. Well, we are seeing some cats that have lived well over a year on treatment with the polypronil immunostimulant, which is a, a new therapy that we're looking at to go ahead and stimulate the immune system and have the cat make an effort to eliminate the virus. Yeah, now you say lived about a year after, but I, I suspect that's because you haven't tracked these cats. So yeah. maybe it, it can be well over that. It could be well over that because we certainly have one cat that's well out past three years that had a biopsy proven feline infectious peritonitis, but still with the promising results that we're, uh, that we're seeing in some of these FIPs, we have some that you just stifle the progression progression of the disease and not actually eliminate the disease. So it's still, we've still got a long way to go to, well, that's, uh, to eliminate it. things. I'll take it. Now, now, there's two kinds of FIP. There's one that's effusive or commonly called the wet form. There's the dry form of FIP. You're working right now with the dry form of FIP. Tell me how this all came about that you're able to do this, what you're doing right now. Well, we're looking at the dry form of FIP because in a lot of our preliminary studies, we have not seen any objective responses in the wet form of the FIP. The wet form appears to be a much more advanced form of the disease, and because of that, it's much more refractory to the, uh, to the treatment. We find that the, by the time they get the wet form, their immune system is shot, and you really can't go ahead and stimulate an effective immune response. The dry form is an earlier form. The body is still making an effort to go ahead and fight off the, the infection. And with the immunostimulant, you're going ahead and helping the natural process of the immune response. Now, you're a famous guy in the world of veterinary medicine for a lot that you've discovered or helped to discover, but I suspect you need a little bit of help pocketbook help to make these things well, possible. Yeah, we're very fortunate that a uh, that we've gotten a some support here from the Wind Feline Foundation, which has made a big difference in being able to uh, support a technician to help keep track of all these cats that we've got under treatment. And that support is from the Feline Pine Group 
to uh, through the Wynn Foundation to make a lot of this work possible. Yeah, making it possible, making a difference for cats. You can learn more about specialty medicine at acvim.org. Win Feline Foundation at win, W-I-N-N, felinehealth.org. Thank you, Dr. Legendre. Thank you.